What's up, people? It's me, Chris Uno, and we are on episode four of this mini off-road gas to electric go-kart conversion video that we got going on here. Now, real quick, I didn't make a video last week. I'm sorry, but let's just recap on episode three. This is what it looks like where we left off. heavy trap music and me running away from my big boy max over here in the park we actually got a lot done in episode three we got the whole front end situated the a arms go up and down everything is looking good i also mounted the shocks temporarily but off camera i actually welded the entire go-kart Actually, I have a couple clips. Here are the clips of me welding the go-kart so you guys don't miss out on anything. But as I'm welding this all, the suspension actually works. And I'm actually really pumped about this because I wasn't sure if it was going to work. Now, here's a little clip of the suspension going. You guys got to remember, when you sit on this go-kart, all the weight is on the rear shock. Just the way the go-kart works, the way you sit... There's like almost no weight in the front end. So my front end is pretty soft right now. I could actually demonstrate to you how soft it is. Look how easy it is to collapse. All right, so you saw that. Now, this is not a problem because the springs are on their softest setting. I can make them stiffer if I need to, but for now, I'm gonna leave it because when I sit on the back of the go-kart, I think it's actually gonna do a good job of taking a lot of the impacts from the front end with the light suspension so we have adjustment i don't want to see you guys start freaking out in the comments that this is not going to work i think it's going to work i hope it's going to work but the big thing we got to do in this episode episode four is the steering and i was waiting for a part to do the steering and the part came in and actually a whole bunch of parts came in all from china Here's a little quick montage of everything that came in. I got my motor, I got my speed control, I got my radiator, I got my coolant lines, I got a water pump, I got, what am I missing? The quick release for the steering wheel, which was the one piece I was missing to do the steering system. Now, this is the quick release. I'm gonna go a little more depth detail of the steering quick release when I start to weld it, but for now, sit back, enjoy episode four we are not hooking up the motor in this episode, but I am going to make a separate episode on wiring and hooking up the coolant system and everything on the electric motor. It's going to come out during the week, so don't miss out. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything, but let's go shoot back to the shop, aka my backyard, and let's weld the steering system for this go-kart so we can actually get the ball rolling. And we'll also probably make a motor mount and some other stuff in this episode, but just to let you guys know i have everything to finish the go-kart and it's gonna happen it's gonna be complete we probably only got like two more episodes left let's, so let's get started the steering these are the pieces we're gonna need basically what i'm gonna do is weld the pipe onto the end of the quick release and then onto the end of the stem use these two pillow bearings and there's the other piece this thing we're gonna mount like here so let's get to putting this all together first straight from China if you're wondering what it is it's a quick release for the steering wheel so since I'm gonna have the Momo wheel like close like this it's gonna be hard to get in and out of the go-kart so I figured why not use a quick release to take the steering wheel out of the way so it's easy to go in and out, and that's what this thing is. Cost me like, I think 15 or $16. It took like two weeks to come in, but just take this thing, you weld it to your steering stem, and this thing it mounts to the back of the Momo wheel. I'm gonna have to make a bracket for it.
Here's the next step to the steering. Our Chinese quick release mounts to our steering stem on the go-kart. That's done. You just watched it. But here's a little problem I ran into. The bolt pattern on the quick release has nothing to do with the Momo bolt pattern. So I can't really mount it. I can't bolt it. So what I'm going to do is cut a circle and make a little adapter plate that will go between the Momo wheel and the quick release It'll just go between the two and basically I can use these three bolts to hold the metal plate to the quick release and then use the outside holes to hold everything together so let's try cutting this perfect circle using this grinder on this little metal plate So check it out, here it is, our circle, it's actually really hot still, but now we can do a little something like that, if you uh, get my drift, so let's mark some holes and drill some. Alright, so... Basically now, check this out, we mounted the plate to the quick release and hmm. Looks like we got a problem here. Alright, so here's a little issue I kind of just ran into. See the three Allen keys? They don't fit in the steering wheel. We're so close, but I'm just going to hit him with the grinder and just make it work. So here we go. The final piece. We got our quick release. Our modified Allen keys that lock into the steering wheel. Now, it would have been so much easier to just cut the steering wheel, but... I did not want to ruin this Momo wheel, so cutting these little Allen keys were the way to go. I need to get three more nuts. I have the Allen keys. But for now, three and three is good enough. Let's go put it on the go-kart. So here it is. The wheel. Quick release. Let's put it on the go-kart for the first time. Push this thing back, just like that. Lock it. Feels good. But it looks a little goofy. I'm not gonna lie. But I'm kind of a fan of goofy. I like that kind of goofy. Even though it looks goofy, it's actually super practical because, check it out. It's actually drivable, unlike the old setup. If I sit on the I'm sitting on the go-kart. Look where the steering wheel is. The steering wheel is like right at your knee level. That one's like down here. So it might look a little tall, it might look a little goofy, but it works perfect. Proof of that. So it's super dark. It's late. I'm tired. I think we got enough done for this weekend. Like I said earlier on the video, I have all the electronics. I have everything to finish it. I also just got a new brake caliper that came in. So we're going to have a fresh back brake. So subscribe stay tuned 
I'm gonna have another video out real soon of the electronics and the whole cooling system that I have going on for the electric motor and all the other good stuff. It's gonna get done. It's gonna happen, guys. I'll see you in the next one, all right?